let's go ahead and get the hell out of here um, so the zombies don't do any more uh, damage to the building and I need to um, oh shit she's a she's a feral Son of a bitch. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on the Ravenhurst mod. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is Horde 21. And so we are ready to fight the Horde. Uh, so we're using the same setup that we did last time, except for, as you can see, I have some cobblestone walls put in place, and I also have a junkie down there. And so the, the, the idea behind the walls is that um, hopefully the zombies will come inside and, you know, attack the walls and give me a chance to shoot them with my bow. Um, because before what happened is, you know, they, they were running all over the place, but they would go underneath the floor here and I couldn't see them to shoot them. Uh, so between that, um, the sledge turret and, um, you know, ho hopefully we can get enough shots off. We'll be able to actually get some kills tonight, maybe get a level or, or two. Now, I'm not expecting the cobblestone to hold up for the entire night, uh, but it doesn't matter if it does or not because it's not what's actually holding us up anyways. The whole the structure, excuse me, as a whole is what's doing it. Uh, so, yeah, we should we should uh, have a good uh, good showing tonight. Excuse me. Um, Let's take a look at this. We have, uh, we have 586 enemy kills, so... We'll see how many kills we can get tonight. And uh, let's see, do we have any levels? No, we don't have any levels, but we're very close to the next level. So we should, you know, we should hit that next level tonight. Um, so, yeah, should be a good uh, horde night. It is 21. It is Ravenhurst. I don't know how dangerous it's going to be, but, um, you know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we can survive.
it's morning guys it's morning um let's go ahead and get the hell out of here um so the zombies don't do any more uh, damage to the building and i need to um oh shit she's a she's a feral son of a bitch run 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 <laughs> See you, suckers. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Forgot to about about ferals there. Uh, yeah. Let's just. Um, I'd kind of kind of like to kill them, but uh, I don't know. Not with, not if there's going to be some ferals running around. Uh, so let's go back and see what the situation is. Uh, but I want to get them away from the building so they don't do any more, any more damage. So let's see if we can pick some, a few more of these guys off here. Um, as long as there's not, they're not ferals. And we need to uh, heal up and we need to eat too. So let's do that. But uh, Horde Knight went actually quite well. And we got some kills in, and we got almost a full level out of the deal. Almost a full level. Okay, so let's uh, let's just be careful. I don't want to just go balls out running over there in case you know we have um, more ferals. We got a couple of um, archery levels too, uh, which is great. And I've got, oh shit, uh, I've got a, a plan uh, for the next Horde Knight. Uh, we're going to use the, the same structure again. I'm going to definitely have to do some repairing on it this time around, though. Okay, so anybody else? We had to repair our bow twice in... We'll have to repair it again here pretty soon. All right, any more zombos around? I think the rest of them have probably despawned. Cool. There's still a... Yeah, no, I think that's just a normal wandering seeker over there. Okay, let's uh, pick up some stuff. Uh, there was a yellow bag in here. There still is. Okay, so let's put these on and see what's in here real quick. Look at all the arrows down here. 
<laughs> okay, so we got some beer and cash. I'm going to try and get all these arrows picked up. But yeah, this this uh, little setup actually worked quite well for a couple of reasons. Um, the first reason and the, and the main reason why I put these cobblestone blocks here is, is that it kept the zombies within... Uh, uh, position them, I guess I should say, so that I could shoot them, right? So they weren't like underneath the ceiling where I couldn't see them. And uh, so, so that helped me, you know, get a, get a lot more kills in. Uh, putting down the sledge turret made a huge difference. Uh, that thing was extremely helpful uh, to us. Um, and then the other advantage that this had was that the AI looked at these blocks here as supporting blocks and attacked them which meant that they were not focusing so much on the other blocks that actually do count uh, for holding up the building. So all in all, you know, I think it was a, it was a good, uh, a good setup and, you know, with some repairs and a couple of changes for next time, um, we're going to try it again on uh, Horde 28 and man, hopefully uh, by, by the time Horde 28 rolls around, I'll have, I'll actually have some kind of a firearm because it is just so hard to shoot these guys with a bow um, with them running around like they do. You know, they're just so squirrely that uh, it's very difficult to hit them. My, you know, my hit percentage was probably, I don't know, <laughs> it was probably like 10% or something like that. But, you know, uh, all things considered, uh, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how the Horde Knight turned out. And they didn't even destroy all of our cobblestone blocks. So we can repair these and just add some new ones and maybe even... You don't have those upgraded to reinforce concrete uh, by the time, you know, we have the next horde. We didn't have any spitters. The only real nasty zombos that we had, we had one um, mummy and we had a couple of spiders, but otherwise it was still just the normal run of the mill Zeeks. Uh, but we need, definitely want to get these iron bars upgraded to iron for horde 28 too, because we're probably going to get cops. And, you know, with this mod, maybe other spitters too, if it has other spitters. Uh, so I don't want those to be wood bars for horde 28. Anyway, yeah, and look at, they didn't even touch the turret. I mean, it's 100% healthy. Um, so uh, I have a, like I said, I have a plan that's going to, again, utilize the turret for Horde 28. I need to think it through a little bit more before I share that plan with you guys, though. And we'll just kind of see, you know, uh, how things turn out with that. So cool. All right. Very good Horde night. Now, let's see. We got, um, let's see, we got, we got one level, but... We are almost uh, to another level here. So we, we effectively got, I'd say, 95% of a level tonight, which was which is really good. Our kill point is now 640. I think, didn't we start? I don't remember what we started with. It was 5-something-8. I'll have to look back um, in the video. But we got enough kills here to, to get almost a full level, which is really good. And then we also um, got some... Uh, archery skill too so let's look at that for a second um yeah so we're we're at nine on archery we have to get to 20 before we can actually craft anything unless we find um you know a blueprint before then uh but yeah so we got some some points in archery too which is always a good thing of course so yeah there we go guys uh horde night 21 very successful uh very happy with how it turned out all right, guys, um, we're back at the base here. I uh, had to do a couple things uh, off camera. So, um, sorry, I'm <laughs> I was, I was doing a couple things in real life, too. So uh, my head's like not in the game. Got to get the head back in the game. Uh, let's see. What did I do? I um, I, I was actually going to end the video uh, in the episode. But then after I, I edited the Horde Night, I realized there was quite a bit of time left. So I decided to continue this episode. Um, so yeah, we, uh, I, I, I went and put a, a new clan, land claim block down at the horde base. So I didn't have to fight off repops again. I, I did have to do that, but I did it off camera. So we got that done. We still have the sleeping bag up here uh, to prevent repops on the roof. So we should be fine with that. And, uh, what else did I do? I actually had to, uh, I never got credit for putting down the insect trap. So I redid that and, and then it advanced the quest. If you look in the upper right hand corner, now I need to do uh, the rain collector. I wonder if, t too, if that allows us to um, actually drink the water if it's rain and, and it's not infected. I don't know. But the thing that's going to be tough about that, just in looking at it, is going to be the beaker. 
Uh, well, and the car air filter too. That's not usually something that you have an abundance of. So yeah, we'll have to just kind of be on the lookout for those things. Uh, one of the things I want to do right now, though, is we're going to go hit a POI uh, for the rest of the episode. But I wanted to um, make a couple of, of tools. So because I need to do some some mining and I got to get some new wood, more wood um, and that sort of thing. So I was looking in here and apparently I know how to make all of the ironed tools. So let's look at this for a second. I think I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think I chose the mining um, sub class or, or supporting class. I think I was very early on. I'd have to go back and watch the first video or, you know, when I did that. But uh, it looks to me like I have access to um, all of the iron tools. So if we go um, iron, um, let's see, axe. Yeah, I mean, I can make this. I just need the forged iron. So uh, I want to do that. I do have this iron pick, but as you can see, it's level 100, which means I can't repair it. Uh, any longer so I'll, I'll wear it all the way down but then after it's completely uh, or almost all the way down I'll just put it in the forge and, and smelt it so I don't break it and lose it uh, but let's go ahead and do that now so I've got 109 pieces of forged iron here uh, we're gonna need some leather too and probably some duct tape I, I don't know let's take a look so what do we need for the pick the pick is by far the most important thing uh, that we need uh, so the iron pick axe is going to require uh, a sturdy handle, leather, duct tape, and then the tool head itself. Okay, so let's craft the tool head. And then it said it needed a sturdy handle. Uh, so that requires just wood and leather. So we can craft that. And then that should allow us to craft a second pick. Um, uh, no, iron pick axe. What are we missing? Oh, we have to put these in our own inventory. Right. Okay. There we go. Um, and since it's 110, that's really good because that means I will be able to repair it once. Um, so, okay. So we got the pickaxe going. I would also like probably the next most important iron tool. We still can't make a hammer, can we? Um, like a claw hammer. No, we still haven't learned it. Uh, the next most important iron tool is probably actually, believe it or not, going to be a shovel because... You know, I have to dig for worms, and I and I need to I dig clay and that sort of thing. And you know, I can still use the axe to get wood. I have a, a decent amount of wood too. Nice thing about using the axe is it uses a lot less stamina. But um, for digging, you know, the shovel and the pick, even though they use more stamina, are, is going to you know get me a lot more product. Uh, especially since I also took mother load too, which reminds me we do have one point that we have to do. Okay, so let's just, let's make another handle. Well, actually, here, let me make sure I'm making the right thing. So, uh, iron shovel, we need to make that. And then the iron shovel itself. Oh, you know what? I don't have access to the iron shovel. How, how come it let me make the head, but I can't make the shovel? All right, so you know what I think that, what the deal is then? Maybe I only unlocked the pick when I took the, the mining thing um yeah see we don't have we don't have the schematic for the fire axe oh okay all right well that's okay i mean the pick is the most important thing by far the most important thing so i guess we'll just sit on this for now um until we uh you know do eventually learn how to do all that stuff uh the other thing i wanted to do too is let's put this in here for now i wanted to go to uh the trader and see what the trader has for sale and also sell a few things to the trader. So let's just drop this stuff off in here for now. I'm going to get a bunch more um, cobblestone, so uh, stone and, and clay and that sort of thing, too, uh, to do the repairs in uh, the horde base. And uh, I do have, let's see, where was that? I have 20, well, yeah, that'll upgrade two blocks. <laughs> uh, we just looted that, so... I don't know if we'll be into concrete by the time, you know, Horde 28 rolls around or not, but we'll we'll see what we can do. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab some stuff out of here that I want to sell. So I'm going to basically just about, uh, I want to hang on to the puffer coat for sure, but we don't need two sets of BDUs. And I think we're going to sell all of this. We don't need a second college jacket. We have three nerdy glasses um, that we want to hang on to. 
the the glow sticks they have no sell price so what do we get if we scrap these not don't really need them by the way i actually looted a helmet mod like in the uh in the in the previous episode and i didn't realize it at the time and i when i was editing that video later i'm going oh my goodness i got a helmet light <laughs> so now we have a helmet light uh, which is really cool so what are these scrapped down to i'm just curious oh stone what really all right well whatever we'll just scrap them down i, I don't see why i would ever want to use those i mean i could see where i might use them before i get a helmet light uh but not right now right so okay anyway uh, not, I think I'm hanging on to those for a chem bench when the time comes. We're going to hang on to the signs. Uh, the ski goggles, I think I'll wind up. Well, no, you know what? We should hang on to those too because I might need them to get an effective point. Not even sure why that's in there at all. Maybe we just had some overflow. Let's hang on to the skull cap for, for warm weather too. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to modify this. We're going to put the press boy cap on it to increase its value. Wow, that doesn't... Uh, what does this sell? This sells for 38. And that sells for 8. So if we put this on 38. We, we actually lose money. We actually lose money if we put this on and sell them together as opposed to selling them separately. What the hell, man? Am I looking at that right? So that's 38 by itself. This is 8. Okay, so that's 46 in total. But if we put this on it and then sell it, now it's only 42? What? Hmm. All right. Well, I think... I don't know what to think about that, except for I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Shit. So it looks like uh, modding stuff and selling him doesn't work in, the, in Ravenhurst. Why would he do that, though? I mean... Okay, let's try it with the cowboy hat. So the cowboy hat's 48, and this is 38. Okay, so that's 70, 86. That's 86 coin in total. If we modify this and put this on... Oh, no, wait, we can't do that. Never mind, because the cowboy hat's not even armor. All right, well, it definitely seems to be the case with, with this. 42, yeah, it, it reduces the value. By four coins. Huh. All right. Well, whatever. I guess that's good to know because now that means we probably need to sell excess mods um, by themselves. And you know what? Maybe I'll even keep this because this would actually help with, with, well, I guess it helps more with, yeah, with heat resist for the desert. So maybe we'll hang on to that for now too. This is a cold resist. This is also heat resist. I think I will hang on to those things for the time being. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. It is now um, noon, so we need to go over to the trader, sell these couple things, and we're going to hit one POI. <laughs> Excuse me before I wrap up the episode. Now, let me double check something. I do indeed have nerdy glasses on. I just want to make sure that I do so I don't accidentally sell these. I don't care about the dye on these. Um, I just don't. I don't. I don't care about it. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's see, I'm going to need to spend some time off camera, um, you know, replenishing chrysanthemums and goldenrod and stuff like that for teas because I'm getting really low on those things. And uh, like I said, do some more fishing because our food's starting to get a little bit low. Rumor has it, I don't know if this is true, I haven't substantiated this, but rumor has it that uh, Jax removed the fishing trap in the newest version of Ravenhurst. Uh, which is, yet again, another reason why I am not going to update uh, to the new version. We're going to stay on this version for this whole entire series. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. But, anyway, I'm sure he has his reason. Maybe he replaced it with something better. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at your inventory. So, let's sell first. We're going to uh, sell that. Okay, so that gets us 29.41 coin. Uh, from this boyo, 6294. Hmm, okay. So let's take a look and see what he has. Let's look at his secret stash first. He's got a double barrel shotgun. Um, which could, could we could get it. I mean, he, he, he stays, he keeps the same inventory for an entire week. Uh, which I actually like. Um, I kind of like that. 
for the you know for the purpose of if he has something we don't have enough money we have time to raise the money to get it so that would be something to consider we could even maybe do a couple of quests for him to get enough money to do that uh so that's yeah that's a little bit out of our range uh we we learned the we learned how to make this we just don't we don't have the actual item but we've learned how to make it so that's good Okay, let's see what he has for weaponry. So he's got a blue pistol, but that, hmm. I mean, I could maybe, but that's pretty expensive to us right at the moment. So I think I'm going to not worry about that right now. And then for tools, he doesn't really have anything uh, for tools that I think we need. So his, yeah, his inventory is not that great, to be honest with you. Uh, I would love to have a blue pistol, but... It's just quite a bit expensive. Unless, like I said, I just ran a bunch of quests for him, which I could do. But we might want to go ahead and see if we can get a hold of this, because this would be wonderful to have. Absolutely wonderful. Does he have any shotgun shells for sale? He doesn't. But I have a few shotgun shells, you know, that I've, you know, been saving. And we would probably just use that shotgun in dire emergencies, which means every situation we get in. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's keep that in mind. And, you know, we could, like I said, now, especially now that we have the the mini bike, you know, I could do a couple buried quests to raise the money for that. Plus, we'd get a little food out of it, too. Uh, you know what? That that sounds like a, a smart thing to do. It really does. It sounds like a damn smart thing to do. So let's uh, let's see what he's got for jobs. Um, Okay, he's got, he doesn't have any buried quests, but he does have some fetch and clears. Um, how about if we do this fetch here because it's 254 no this one is only 56 meters you, yeah let's do it okay we actually day. tried to do a couple trader quests really early on but it was so hard to do that it didn't work out so well so um okay so we need to go this way Oh, it's this house right here, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. What am I doing? I'm getting my games confused. That's what I'm doing because in a lot of other games that I play, you have to use the keyboard to steer. Um, okay. So yeah, let's uh let's do this. Uh, see how much bank we can get, and um, raise enough money to get that double-barreled shotgun. Because I would very much like to have that in my arsenal. We don't have enough shotgun shells to, to use it liberally, but we can, again, have it for situations where we need to put the herd on these guys. All right, now have I, have we been in here already? I think we have, but I couldn't say for absolute certainty that we have. Uh, shoot, I didn't bring a doggone shovel with me for that thing. Um, There's going to be sleepers in the house no matter what, so I guess there's no point in trying to double loot it. You know, plus the fact that stuff is so broken down in here, I probably have been in here. Let's just take a quick peek in the kitchen in particular. Um, and make sure that it's been looted. Yeah, these have all been looted. Okay, so we've already been in here. Oh, shit. Arlene, get out of the way. Okay, so let's um start this quest. Unfortunately, starting the quest doesn't get rid of the sleepies. Well, you know, more XP for us, right? It's kind of funny it trapped him in the house. Uh, this Okay, so this is a retrieve. What's down here? A locked door. We don't necessarily have to do the whole entire house, of course. Uh, just want to retrieve the supplies and hit the fat loots mostly. Get 
that down in, quite in time there. Oh! Crap, I accidentally dropped my, uh, pitchfork. What are, oh shit, where'd it go? Can't see it. I dropped it, like, right over here. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Holy shit. <laughs> Don't want to lose that. Okay, we have to stay in the general vicinity here, so... Watch your stamina. Alright, so the, the thing we have to get is on this floor. Let's check the... All of this stuff in here, just for the, you know, food and... Chance of a wrench, that sort of thing. Okay, so what we need is apparently in that room. Let's close that door. Anybody in here? All good here. Let's check the medicine cabinets. Man, you know what? It just occurred to me. I might not be able to get to my bike uh, without getting out of range of the POI. So what we're going to do in that case is we're going to put stuff in this duffel bag that's over here. Oh, shit. I was thinking to myself, too. I should check my weapons and make sure they're loaded, and then I completely forgot to do it. Okay, let's just put this down out here, and then I'll put a few things in here just to try and lighten up a little bit. That's not a lot, lot, but uh, actually, let's just use the damn steroid. Here, we'll have to take one of these now to counter that probably even two but yeah like i said i'm i'm really low now on uh, on t's so we gotta just spend some off camera time dealing with that stuff okay so we got the steroid going let's just move through here as quickly as we can uh, we already went into here and checked all this stuff out so we're good to go we checked everything in there this is unlocked i think this is the house that yeah collapses I just remembered that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fudge just a little bit because we know the the duffel bag thing is up here. Um, in fact, it's sitting right there. Can I stand on the side of this? Yeah. Okay, there's our courier thing. Okay, we got that done. Now... Um, I'm trying to remember the fat, I think the fat loots are downstairs. I believe they are. But what we're going to do is jump back up here. And I don't want to go down there immediately because if I do, I won't be able to get out right away. So let's just bust this door open so we have an escape route. A spider zombie? Damn! Damn! Showed him what for. All right. Uh, let's uh, get rid of this. There might be some Zeeks in there. Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, we'll just um deal with these guys up here. Let's get some bleeds going on you, buddy. There's two of you. Can you guys line your heads up for me? There we go. I think we probably got to uh, hit both of them. Off with your head. Okay. Let's get this reloaded. I think there's usually a Zeke over there or two as well. Let's go back into this tunnel. There is nothing back here. That's right. There is nothing back here. Okay. So here's a thing. What are we wearing? We are wearing this. These are going to slow us down, but they're going to give us three more armor. They're going to make us louder and slow us down, but they're going to give us three more armor. So, yeah, I'm going to make that exchange. These would be worth selling, maybe even fixing up first and then selling. Uh, all right. Nobody in there? Nobody in there. Uh, where's the fat loots in this house? Oh, no. Rip it off. Where are the fat loots? There's nothing down there. The hell, man. Okay, we'll sell that college jacket. We'll sell that, too. Let's get the leather off of this couch. Oh, there's the fat loots right there. Okay. Might as well grab some twine and cloth. Okay, so let's switch over to our luckies. Come on, give me a pistol. Nice. Very nice. Okay, that will come in handy for mining. Garage storage box. And a couple of shotgun messiahs. So two more chances for a pistol. Or an AK. Or a shotgun. We got some shells. An AK would be the actually be the best thing only because I have the most ammo for it right at the moment. Hmm. Okay, what are we wearing? Cloth. Yeah, we're trading out our cloth for heavy armor. So slow us down, make us louder, but give us more protection. How much more protection, actually? Yeah, three more. Okay. So I think, you know, it's a, it's a, a worthy trade-off. All right, guys. Well, I guess that is it. Let's go back to the trader, do the turn-in, and see how much uh, bank we can get. And then um, probably have to wrap up this episode. You've made my day. And here is your payment. We only got 175 dukes for that? Oh my goodness, dude, you gotta be kidding me. Um, this. We're gonna take this because it sells for more. That is all you gave me. Wow, okay. We got a Zombo coming in, so let's sell a couple things to him. Uh, because remember, the, the place is not immune to zombie attacks, and I am. I'm not going to be able to move if I don't get rid of this stuff. So I want to sell that. That. I think I'm just going to sell these straight up as they are. I can't believe that's all we got. What a bunch of baloney, man. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I really want to sell. 
but uh, we should be able to move okay now. Off with yo head. All right, you guys. Well, man, that was lame in terms of the money we got for that. How much money do we have now? Thirty-five, fifty-four. Well, you know what, though? We got money from selling and from looting, too. So let me look at that one more time. Uh, you know, the cost of the shotgun, I think it was 4000 and something, right? Yeah, it's forty-six ten. We should be able to do this. We should be able to raise enough bank to, to get that. Uh, but obviously, we're not going to have time to do that in this episode. we got to wrap things up. Yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go. I think I'm going to spend the rest of today um, with... Uh, uh, I'm going to get so encumbered, I'm not going to be able to move. I'm going to spend the rest of today just getting some resources uh, that I'm going to need, getting some iron mined out, that sort of thing, uh, finding chrysanthemums and uh, golden rods to make more tea. Yeah, see, I can't even move now. Uh, so I'm going to put a couple, couple things in here. And then uh, when uh, the, the morning starts, the next day here, uh, we'll start the next episode. And we'll probably just do another quest for the trader um, because we might as well, right? And uh, get enough money. So we basically need to raise about 1,100 more coin to get that shotgun. So that is the plan, Stan. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did... You know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.